front. Yeah, okay. front pin first. Um, we need that what we're doing now is pulling our pins out of our track coat right so we can take the vibratory plate off and put the buck back on. And this really sucks because everything has to be lined up just perfectly. And we've got an attachment, a quick coupler, which I've done a video on before. But we had some issues with the quick coupler. Because this little shield, so sleeve right here was allowing sand to get in, and th this is the part that holds the bucket on, and sand would compact down in here. And then when we were trying to pull it out with his rod, the sand would just compress, and we couldn't pull it up to release it from the bucket. So we tried something new. Uh, there's little slits right here, which I don't know why there's slits in there. Put the uh, good old gorilla tape on there to try to cover that up. To keep the sand from getting in there and you bored a hole through the bottom so when that rod shoves down through here i can run some water or some air right through that hole there to hopefully blow that sand out so it don't get trapped in there and this grease ring, the grease ring here is for these two little ports right here that slide inside or just slide inside the bucket or the tamp behind a pin to wedge it in place i'll show you that once we get it on but right now we're working on getting these pins out so we can put this quick coupler back on. This typically takes 20, 30 minutes to do. I have to relieve that pressure on her. Watch that thumb too. And um, with the quick coupler, we can do it within three minutes. <coughs> Make it easier. If I can take some of the weight off of it, I can't really tell. There you go. Remember that thumb is loose too. That, that thumb is going to flip up. And all those shims, that's going to go up. Probably up that way. And the shims are going to come out too, so don't lose the shims. Don't let them roll off the barge. You can just hold it. Yeah. Don't don't knock that pin off in the water. Well, you disconnected a lot quicker than you hooked it up earlier. <laughs> yeah, we hadn't had that one out in a long time. I don't have the thumb turned on. Either. swing down a little bit all right so what i'll do is i'll pick this up and we'll get it down closer to the ground you can we'll swivel that around and uh, we'll put this quick couple on there one goes on the top like this and i think one went on the bottom also like is that it? yeah yeah Hopefully them threads ain't messed up. Wrenches in the cab. You gotta hold that. We gotta hold this barrel solid too. Yeah, bro. Hey, hey, hey. 
Let's put some grease on that. Because they'll never have grease in there. It's a good idea. I'll back it back out a little bit, put some grease on it. Yeah. On the end of that rod. If that seizes up in there. Yeah. A little bit of preventative maintenance will save a lot of time later on. There you go. Squirt a little bit right in there. Yeah. Yeah. Right on the threads. Shoot a little bit on those threads. And a little bit right there. Yeah. to this tool because we have had nothing but problems with this thing collecting sand which uh, I don't understand why they don't, they don't already have this corrected because I'm sure these buckets go down in the water table all the time with dirt and sand maybe just to find sand from the water is a little bit finer it gets through the cracks here and fills that thing up you can tell the difference with that yeah hopefully this will take care of a lot of grease yeah. So once we get this rod here, these screw in and shoved all the way down, this uh, Allen screw will lock in this little hole right there. It'll prevent that bolt from coming out. And there's a jam nut on that one, also right there, which will lock, it'll lock it in place. And then it just screws in and out of this collar, which pulls that red plate up like you just seen right there. It pulls the red plate up to unlock the bucket or the tamp, whatever we got on there. It was like, it's all depends on how you look at a bolt. Mm -hmm. Lefty, righty. Righty, righty tidy lefty loosey with the exception of counterclockwise which is lefty loosey righty tidy or no god's opposite of that okay that's where the wrench spots come in handy yeah that was going right hmm. can you hold that deep? That's it right there, way over there. Feel it? A little, little notch in the bolt, they get an Allen screw in, they'll put the jam nut on, keep it from slipping. Give me that. A little jam nut on the Allen screw, we'll tighten that up. That'll prevent the set screw or Allen screw from backing out. Lock it in place. There we go. Now you see this blade here. Is retracted all the way inside this collar here. It's got room down there. So once the pin slides in through here, this area here, this spade will come down and lock the pin in place. Oh, we right. got the quick coupler attachment put on. I've already picked up the uh, bucket. You see this little lever right here. It, it, this little lever here flips up, locks this pin in place. When we take it off, we rotate that down, then this pin can come out. That right there that allows that allows the pin to come out and we need the up position and then we got our um, our attachment right here he's going to start tightening that up and then I'll drive the spade down all the way down to the bottom where that pin is and lock, lock the bucket in place Right against that bottom pin and 
did not yep, get that yep. tight. Yeah, that's not right. Yep, so we need to get that put back in there and get that Allen screw put in there. If we didn't get it lined, that Allen screw lined up, it's popping out. You can't see the two little slots on the top of this collar, but there's Allen screws up there that actually tighten those slots together and causes that collar to pinch around the top part of that bolt right up underneath the bulkhead there. That's what keeps the collar in place. We finally figured it out after many trials and errors, but uh, drilling holes in here has worked really good. Uh, it fills up a grease and keeps the sand out.